Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you a quick, or maybe this is probably a little longer version of a behind the scenes video of me teaching a small group of students and actually a private workshop uh, of students from um, Terra Nostra Studios of Butuan City. So um, they actually contacted me, the owner, Angie, uh, she contacted me through Instagram and she inquired if I do one-on-one um, -on -one mentoring about newborn photography. So I was um, so happy to have, you know, taught them in my studio because it's actually the first time that I invite, you know, I taught newborn photography in the comfort of my studio. So I had everything on hand. I had my props with me and it was actually easier for me to teach that way because I had everything I, that I needed um, right there. So I was just teaching them um, how I would build my portfolio, how I would shoot a typical newborn session. So uh, we had the setups and um, we had the bean bag ready. So first I was like sh showing them how I would shoot and how I would wrap the baby and then this time I had them do it by themselves of course I was I was there close to them I was guiding them at the same time so we had five babies uh, during that day we had five babies so it was like ample ample amounts of uh, photos to take and you know a good amount of time to learn uh, everything they needed to know. Of course, they took videos of me while I was teaching them. And at the same time, um, I was teaching them safety poses, which was really important. So in this case, um, I told them that I should be on the baby at all times because there will be times that they were going to move or make a shift in their movement. And it's really important that someone is there to spot the baby all the time. So this is me uh, showing them how I would um, transition a baby from a wrap pose to the beanbag pose. So uh, this is like um, how I would do it. And here's one of my students. She's just helping me. She's Rianne. She's helping me like put on the bonnet. And then, and then I was like talking at the same time and they had questions so i would answer them you know while i was showing them the things that i would do so the baby was really so sweet she was like less than two weeks old she was really great um so i wanted to show them how we would do shoot i mean how we take shots on the bean bag and um how i would typically pose them you know, so that they won't look awkward. And of course, I was telling them how happy I am that they were Bisaya because I was having a hard time teaching my Manila students because I didn't know how to speak Tagalog that much. Or I feel really awkward when I talk in Tagalog. So one of my students, Mitch, was having a hard time posing the baby on her lap. So of course, I showed her that she can actually do it Um um on the table so she did a good job she wrapped the baby on her own of course i had to guide them as along the way and so here they are so i was telling them like to transfer the baby to a next um pose but they just wanted to get more shots of her of course because they wanted to get to build their portfolio and I was showing them how I would angle my shots, which was very important so that they won't look, um, you know, awkward. So here is our second layout. They were actually impressed because how fast um, I would shoot and build a gallery. Well, actually, that is my goal. My goal when it comes to mentoring my students is that, you know, taking the shots in camera um, perfectly and at the same time building the gallery 
without using so much of your time. You know, my sessions would last around an hour or maybe two, depending on the layouts that I will prepare. Because of course we do have packages on client where clients can choose what layouts they like. But in a typical session with no families included, I would have two setups, um, one for the bird's eye view, maybe one in a bucket or a bed, and then the last would be on a beanbag. So that's the easiest way to build a gallery. And here is our last baby. I think she's our last baby that day. And it was fun. So we did this um, baby on a bucket shot. And of course, we incorporated like the mommy and the daddy for a family shoot because they were our last uh, models for the day. So we had time and I had the students do it as well. And it was real fun. And I we had an amazing time. And, you know, I really hope that they learned a lot. And that's it. There they are.